Hi everybody. Welcome to welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. The sun is a little bit hot, but I think it's of value that I share what I have to share with you today. Now today we are looking at uh, sunlight and light in general on your fish. Right? How sunlight and your aquarium light affect your fish. It's going to be a very short stream. Uh, hopefully, you, you will find this interesting. And hopefully, uh, you can apply some of what is about to be shared. Okay, so we live in an evolving world. We're in which the whole practice of fish keeping, why it is not new, but it is new in a sense that why it is not new, it is new in some sense because we, we know we using some mechanism today in which before it wasn't being thought of. Today we're gonna to be looking at some benefits of sunshine and your fish, right? Uh so let's just look at the number one benefit of sunshine and your fish. One, it helps to warm the water. And so therefore your fish your fish will stay healthy, yes. Be reminded that every fish comes with a required temperature, right? Also be reminded in it. I'm gonna be constantly saying this over and over throughout the entire stream. That warm water to should I say hot water, warm water carries with it less oxygen than cold water, right? And that is one of the reasons why carps, goldfish, and kois can actually survive in the winter in your pond and not die because cold water has a lot of more oxygen. Okay, so that's one of the benefits for sunshine, right? Aquafunk, what's up, brother? All right, remember, next week, Sunday, May, we we'll talk about that typical issue, right? So we're talking about sunshine and your fish, right? Now, number two, uh, fish can see its way around, right? What's up, brother? Bar Bar Bavarian cichlids and pleco. Nice to see you, brother. All right. So, fish can see their way around during sunshine and when you have lights on your aquarium. Some fish, however, are regarded as what you call nocturnal. So, therefore, they will rest during the day and they will be more active during the night. We get to that in a little bit as I talk about some advantages and disadvantage of lights and aquarium and ponds. Okay. Number three benefit of having sunshine being focused on your aquarium or pond is that it helps to create what you call an algae bloom, which helps to facilitate the fish actually feeding within its natural environment on microorganism that may exist as a result of the sun now heating the water and you have some algae growing up and microorganism within the algae so the fish is actually getting its protein and its necessary nutrients in which it needs to survive okay number four benefits of sunshine right uh limited light includes sunlight may retard your fish growth that means you should not have your fish your fish space or wherever you keep your fish, whether it's in a bucket or it's an aquarium or it's a pond, you should not have it in total darkness. The fish will not grow, right? The fish need sunshine or should I say light to grow, right? Uh, if it do grow, it might grow retarded. It might not look as though it would normally look in the wild, right? Uh, not all fish are nocturnal, right? Like most pigeons, as you say, well, all pigeons, yeah, pigeons on a whole, they can't see in the in, in, in the night. As soon as it becomes dark, the pigeon finds somewhere to hide because all and other birds of the night will actually hunt it and eat it, right? So, so some fish actually becomes blind at night, which is, makes it more susceptible to other fish that hunt at night, so that they you have an ecosystem there 
right? Which kind of creates a balance within whether your pond or your aquarium, right? Now let's look. Let's look um at another aquarium fish maybe away from the sunlight, but it can get its own light through special lighting and star, right? So whilst you might have your aquarium in a space where sunlight is not really penetrating the walls, you find that when you put the lights on top of the aquarium, this kind of act as a substitute. However, there are dangers to that. I've spoken to several persons with regards to uh, their aquarium lights. And some persons have shared with me, some persons have, sh have shared with me the fact that um they keep their lights on 12 hours 13 hours per day how would you like your fish well how would you like somebody to have the light on in your face for so long fish does not have what you call eyelids so therefore they can't close their eyes so as to keep out the light so as to get a little nap right so therefore the fish eyes always open so sometimes you're passing by going to the bathroom at night and you see the fish eye looking at you the fish practically is half out, half half sleeping and half concentrating on and keeping afloat right i did a video on something to that effect uh earlier on during the course of this year right so you can check that out i will not repeat myself within that okay so let's look at some of the dangers with regards to sunlight and light now fish as i was saying before fish sleep with bright light, the fish may find it difficult to sleep, very uncomfortable, thus the fish may become stressed, right? Uh, I, I know for a lot of you, you like to see a fish in the night with the nice neon lights, pretty lights, red light, blue light, whatever, and it will be there all night because you use that to light up your room or you use that to light up your apartment, right? And during the day, your house probably might be dark you might not have a window right where the fish aquarium where the aquarium is so therefore you 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 um, you turn on the light during the day right and to some persons they might say that they have a meter where in which they can actually turn turn the, the, the lights down as bob Marley would say turn the lights down low right however this is somewhat this is somewhat really really uh stressing for the fish and the fish will ultimately die if you do not get your rest you will feel irritable in the mornings so you can imagine a fish that doesn't get the chance to actually hold a nap right that fish will actually get irritable and probably won't eat and eventually that fish will die too much um number two too much bright light right including the sun sunlight whether it be aquarium light or the sunlight right will result in your fish getting what you call sunburn i don't know how many persons have actually seen some videos with some nice guys some nice big fish but you have some little patches you have some little patches of white spot or dark spot right these fishes are these fish are very pretty very awesome but they have some little spot patches on them these are what you call um burn spot right whenever the fish is exposed to the sun without any means of shade the fish can get burn spot just like when uh caucasians go to the beach even us as black people right well black people right actually go to the sea or go to the beach right and you are not geared properly depending on where in the world you are at you might find that yourself becoming your skin becoming very tender because of the rays of the sun these two do happen to fish and when these two happen what happens is that it allows the fish to get what you call stores and these stores experienced by the fish um encourages parasites and you know what parasite brings parasite further stresses the fish the fish gets sick produce less slime and the fish will automatically die right so you have to be very careful as far as the amount of sunshine that or amount of light that your, your your 
your fish actually get and by the way a lot of persons would say that the light in which their aquarium is much less intense than the light in which comes from the sun um did you know that your aquarium light shining on on the water will actually uh allow the water to become a little bit more warmer as a result of that the temperature in the water will become probably a little bit more than expected because for some persons um protein they live in an environment where they use um water heater the heater for the aquarium right and they set it at certain temperature you know you always have a variation let's say gop is at 32 to 36 right and let's say that you set it at 36 right and you have the lid on and the lid have a light on and the light at an extra three or four degrees right now if you are at a maximum of 36 and you add three or four more degrees that is about 40. so eventually what will happen to that fish that fish will actually die because it is too hot right yes yes protein sunshine do help the fish to get vitamins however too much vitamin not too much too much of the sunshine itself will damage the fish everything you done in moderation right mr funk you drink in moderation you sleep in moderation you actually get sunshine in moderation and you're supposed to work in moderation uh although this is not a part of the presentation but did you know that once you go in sleep mode in the night you get more rest than if you actually sleep during the day because the body is structured to sleep while it is it is night i cannot explain the science about that but that is so so therefore persons who work in the night uh tend to be a little bit more irritable a little bit more stressed than let's say persons who work during the day because some persons who work during persons who work during the night they um they are expected to rest during the day but usually you work eight hours in the night usually it is really uh rare that you find persons who work in the night actually um spending the eight hours in which they work in the night to sleep during the day because there are so much distraction so the mind the body don't get to rest so therefore you're actually doing your body uh a disservice there all right let's 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 move on to um while number three right while having ponds and aquariums in an area considered well lit too much light may result in massive algae bloom now what happens is that when there is massive algae bloom that mean you have algae and by the way you have different grade of algae you have different type of algae you have string algae you have hair algae you have different type of algae some of them good some of them bad right and what happened is that uh the algae can utilize the oxygen in, and remember the oxygen in warm water is less than in the cold water right and and, and algae usually uh bloom doing uh, where, where there's an exposure to a lot of light not necessarily sunlight but light so therefore with the algae utilizing the oxygen and the fish needing the oxygen and the water warm not holding much oxygen what you'll find is that the fish um may not get the amount of oxygen that it needs so as a result of bright light in your aquarium as a result of um the penetration of the sunlight in the pond you might get a few things one fish might die two fish might stress three fish might end up with disease four fish will not breed five the if the fish do lay the eggs are the the fries will not survive for long because what happened is that the climate that exists within the should i say the temperature that exists within the water right is not conducive uh for a healthy uh spawn or fry or mating some fish are triggered to mate to breed in certain water temperature and with lights on the water and the water having heater plus the natural air all that combined you find that the water temperature that you expect is totally different from that in which exists right now right okay so 
You don't want algae bloom, right? Uh, number four, oxygen hold best in cold water. And as I said before, this is one of the reasons why fish like carp and koi and goldfish can do well in winter. Now, uh, my, my good friend Aquafunk, my good friend Aquafunk said that uh, he's going to be building a pond, right? Uh, eh, where is that right now? I don't think they experience snowfall, but they experience cold temperature right so if he's gonna build a pond outside where is that he's have to he, he will now have to consider installing some amount of heaters within the pond outside right uh unless he's planning to put in that pond some koi or some goldfish or some fish that can withstand cold temperature otherwise from that the fish will die because of the invariable temperature that the water may have going through the different climatical variation throughout the year right oxygen hold best in in water that is cold with a constant exposure to sun oxygen level in pond and aquarium decreases and the fish may die right this this whole idea of, of sharing with this with you is because i've seen where a lot of persons are now buying light bright light to actually place on their aquariums right and these lights they allow the fish to be seen in the aquarium they allow the fish to you know what you would say see their way around right but there are disadvantage to this so therefore this video is just in response to that to share with you that there, there are several dangers and i'm just giving you four advantages and four disadvantage and there are several more right however there I, I i never yet point out a problem without possible solutions right but before let's look at the fourth limited rest for fish due to excessive exposure to light, not necessarily sunlight, but to light, right? Including sun and, 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 and aquarium light, right? Retards the fish growth. So therefore the fish now become, what I call a handicap. And as a result of that, the fish can't produce. Uh, uh, the male fish may not be able to produce any mint, or what I call sperm, right? And the female might not be able to produce eggs that are hatchable or eggs that can be hatched okay so you have to be very careful with the light uh for me if i had aquarium with lights i would put a timer on it and i would ensure that the timer have a maximum of about six about six hours for the day and if you can do it invariably meaning that you can do it so that it comes on and it goes off and it comes on and it goes off that will be good also right and the light should not be that bright where in which it actually stands out each time any fish is going to be feeding they see this bright light ahead of them right it's very very important for you to know that right okay so let's look at practical solution never ever have fun constructed in areas that you don't have any shade now if you're going to be building a pond funk uh construct your pond in such a way that you can actually foresee shade for your pond bear in mind right that the leaves whenever that the leaves fall during the autumn for those persons who live within areas of seasonal variation uh, whenever the leaves fall in water, you're going to have to now take out that leaf because that leaf can cause problem. So you can build your ponds underneath three, uh, underneath different trees, or you can build your pond underneath a tent. Or you can do like unconventional aquatics. You can build your pond on the back porch, I think, or, or veranda, or somewhere like that. Right? Or even like Andy's Angel and Rob, build your ponds inside. However, the fish still need light, right? Uh, and the fish need shade. Fish know when, hey, up, 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 my dog TV. Thank you for watching, brother. 
the fish need light and the fish need shade. So if you can build a pond in such a way that the fish will determine when it want a little sun and when it cannot manage the sun anymore, it can get a little shade. It will be good. But don't build a pond in such a way that it is in the sun and because you want to see your fish, you do not make any facilities inside the pond where the fish can go there during the heat of the day and cool out like a little tunnel or some plants or a little cavern like in which the they, they, um, they, they rocks hang over and water is actually flowing over those rocks. You know, those little areas that are normally more cooler um, during the days when, 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 the, when the water probably might be warm out at the front. All right. So, another solution to um, the whole idea of lights and sunshine, right? Set a timer to those lights and the aquarium. Don't set the timer to 12 hours, 12 hours like you, because the fish need rest, right? We are fish, key, we are fish lovers. What's up, brother? All right? Set a timer for your aquarium lights. Sometimes we say that we don't need to set a timer. We can just turn it on when we're leaving and turn it off when we return home. What if there is something, some appointment in which you won't be returning home until it's late, right? What will happen is that the fish will get too much light and it will get restless, stress, and probably you might not see the death the next day. But the next two weeks or so, the fish probably might, like in a Jamaican term, skin over, like dead. Because it has been stressed from the whole fact that it is just experienced too much sunshine. All right, I am in the sun now, right? I am in the shade. Whenever it gets too warm for me in the sun, I shift a little bit forward and I get a little shade. Because I am human and I know that my skin kind of burn when the sun is too hot. Can you imagine the can you imagine the fish in the water in the sun? The water itself acts like an insulator for the for, for the yes, it acts like an insulator for the sun's energy. So therefore, if it is too exposed, the fish is too exposed in the sun, right? It, it, it will it will affect the fish health. Okay. Uh number number two. Right, design the placement of a well. I am not one that love the whole idea of ornaments in the aquarium or ponds because I feel personally that um, ornaments in aquariums or ponds can lead to uh, fish injuring themselves. Right, but this I, I guess I'm alone with this, so therefore I have to make mention of this in my presentation. Right, I just like plants and clay or mud at the base and, 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 and water and that's it for me as far as aquarium landscape is concerned. The whole idea of putting rocks and, 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 and stick into the aquarium, I don't fancy that. I know that some fish like I know that some fish like pleco, if you don't have a piece of driftwood a piece of driftwood in the aquarium or pond, it will automatically die because there's something that it needs from this Yes, plecos. There's something that they need from driftwood. So if you don't have a driftwood in your um, pleco aquarium, it will get sick and eventually just die, right? So you need to get a driftwood if you a piece of driftwood if if you do have a pleco and there's no driftwood in your aquarium. But other than circumstances like that, I'm not one for uh, decoration, right? But what you could do as a solution to the whole sunlight and aquarium light right is to uh arrange your decoration in such that the fish have an open space to swim right the fish have an open space to swim but the fish have somewhere to hide sometimes and, and this is what i i hate when persons come to my yard they say i want to see a fish i want to see a fish and you know it is in the middle of the day and the fish is like in its space like resting like probably in the tube or probably around the rocks, and they'll be like knocking on the glass. Hey, hey, fishy, fishy. Hey, men people quarrel for that. I like that. 
right? The fact of the matter that the fish is there, that means that the fish tired, stress out, and just want to get a little rest. Yes, fish want rest during the day too, right? Just like how you get a one hour break at work, right? Or you rest during the day because you're tired, fish are tired. Because remember, it's an awesome task swimming up and down, you know. Worse if there's a lot of fish in the aquarium and you have to be swimming for your food because if you don't swim for it, it won't come to you, right? So therefore, fish do get tired. And when fish do get tired, they get stressed and they produce less slime that protect their body from parasites that exist within the aquarium or pond. Whether you like it, yes or no, parasites and organisms are lurking in your aquarium water, right? Just waiting on the opportunity to attack your fish. So the best way to manage these aquarium pests is to always stay ahead of the game. Do not allow your fish to get stressed. Too much sunshine, too much light will stress your fish. So you have to build your aquarium so your fish can get some amount of escape from those aquarium lights. This topic might seem boring to you or might seem as if it is just um, something that probably, you know, not off the top of your head, not exciting, not whatever, whatever. But it's imperative that you listen to what I'm saying because you may regret it. Whether the fish is cheap, whether the fish is expensive, right? Your ultimate goal is to become an, an awesome fish keeper. And one step within that pathway is for you to learn to care for your fish properly. This channel is about education, sharing whatever discoveries have been made and experience. So therefore, share with you the, the important fact that too much light is not good for your fish is imperative. Okay. Now, do not place... All right. The thing about it is that if I am building a, a, a fish room, I will ensure that my fish room is one that is really well lit. Have windows and have opportunity for sunlight to come in. That's that's how I would build it, right, Mr. Fong? Um, I would not build my fish room in a basement where in which I have to have the light on all the time. Now, this might sound strange, but light bulbs do give off heat. So whether or not you have a light bulb over your aquarium on the lid, or whether or not you have a light bulb in the room with several tanks, heat increases in that room because of the light. So therefore, natural light is one of the best way to ensure that light is provided within your aquarium space. Now, if you are entering to the fish keeping area and you don't have that space, no problem, right? You now have to manage the space you have so that it does not affect the fish health, right? So probably it might mean that you might change around a little bit, right? Uh, if you have the resources, what you would do is actually probably put a window in section of the house that never have any window before so that the light can shine in and uh your fish can have some amount of natural light as far as ponds are concerned you might have an open space uh in your yard you want to make a pond there's nothing wrong with making a pond but what you could do is probably get a tent right whether it be a permanent tent or a temporary tent and you could probably plant some trees around that pond. So in the future, you could take down the tent and the tree would act as a shade, right? Or you, you build it in such a way that the rock placement in that pond serve as a shade for sections of the pond. So therefore, you don't have to have anything over the pond itself, but you have the rocks, some large rocks placed there so that the, 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 the fish itself can actually swoop down and go into the spaces in the rock and cool down when it's ready all right okay let's let's continue about solution i am on the verge of wrapping up right it's about probably about two or three minutes left okay 
So I was talking about the whole idea of designing your pond and designing your aquarium space, right? Uh, for me, as I said before, I use plants, right? I use plants as a means of regulating the temperature in my pond, right? And these plants serve also as decoration, spawning map, and hiding places for fish as they swim together in the in the water space because you know you always have bullies so therefore it serves it, it, it have multiplicity multiple it have multiple purposes right uh so create shaded areas for your aquarium and for your uh for your pond right i like the idea of including plants within my aquarium I have not gotten the opportunity to make a really awesome planted tank, right? I think I might do that in the short, in short order, right? But uh, one thing that hit JH with, with, with the hurricane is that he has his aquarium at a space where the only light that those aquarium got, well, get, right? Doing the aquarium, doing the hurricane right was that of the bulb that were over the aquarium although this might not really immediately affect the the sunlight because during the hurricane the place was dark the place was dark and um not, not much light was coming in right however after the hurricane it took some amount of time before the electricity came back and he lost some of his plants right if his aquariums were, were uh, situated in a position where in which it could actually get some of that natural light, some of his natural, some of his really awesome plants that he lost during the, the, the hurricane and the light power outage and all that, um, I don't think he would have lost them. So therefore, just thinking outside the box and thinking beyond right now, right, it might be to your advantage if you ensure that some amount of natural light actually hits on your fish room because if light goes away right if light goes away and there's no pump right and plants are in it the plants will die because there's no sunshine because there's no light and when the plants die there's no oxygen in the water, so the fish will automatically die. So you have to play it in such a way that everything balances out itself. For 52 days, you never have electricity, right? Um, uh, um, JH, same thing I said, right? So if he, if he, the arrangement of his aquariums were of such that it actually got some of this natural light, right? Probably it might be uh, difficult because you know. Um, getting spaces on the island that gives you this might be a little bit different, right? But getting this sunshine, let's say that there's a hurricane here, right? Um, and I have a sunroom. I would have to now move my fish to the sunroom. My fish aquariums would have plants. I would move them to the sunroom. My plants will survive. My fish will survive. I do not need to have any pump pumping anything, right? So for the 52 days, I will be okay, right? Pluck a whisper, I will be okay because the plants will now continue the symbiotic um, relationship between the fish and the water and everything. So therefore, it's an ecosystem that continues to build, right? But when you have your fish room in a space where in which everything is dependent upon electricity function, you're gonna fall yourself in a, you're gonna find yourself in a problem like those persons who um experienced that flood in Hurricane Sandy. Right? So it's 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 just thinking ahead of the game. You don't want any disaster to hit you, but after spending so much thousands of dollars, so much hundreds of hours, right, taking care of these fish right and a hurricane or a storm do come yes they are safe in your house nothing is going to come and break the glass right the, your house is well secured but you don't have any light and because you don't have any light 
the plants that are in the aquarium will die because it doesn't, uh, doesn't have any light. And so therefore the plants can't produce the food to sustain it. Right? So that is my piece on it. I hope that this presentation was of value to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Rally here for Fish Keeping Jamaica. This is my only stream for this week. Uh, so I'll catch you next time. Hopefully, we'll be good. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Okay. Uh, Protein is speaking about his experience where in which he uh, lost his power head for one of his aquarium, but his fish survived. Um, Protein, um, before I go, let's expand on more. Um, catch you, catch you next time. But before I leave, um, Protein, uh, could you share what you did so as to ensure that your 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 your, your fish stock actually survived? And how long um, did the 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 the, the they did do without uh, power head? Twelve hours, I think. Well. They, they, they won't die for that, but picture this. JH had to do without light for, I think, 52 days. Right? So, uh, 12 hours, that's not bad. Right? That's not bad. Right? Uh, but it's an awesome task managing yourself and fish and family. Right? And uh, we must remember that once you have the fish in an aquarium or a pond, it is your responsibility to ensure that those fish, those life, those, those, those live organisms in your space are well taken care of. Right? I did have video, they belong in fish belongs in the wild, right? Um, there's a lot of argument with regards to that. Some persons uh, disagree with that. Some persons are naturalists, they believe that everything should remain as it is, and that we should, you know not pressure the environment for everything because we are destroying the environment but that's another thing that probably we can take up on another discussion thank you very much for watching you have a wonderful day right here bye bye for now cool oh uh and now i'm gonna big up at the end bavarian cichlids and plecos pleco whisper uh protein aquatics aquafunk and jh uh, we are fish lovers, uh, we love fish or something like that. Yeah, we are fish lovers. Uh, Mad Dogs, Mad Dogs TV, all of you guys, thanks for watching. Thank Panda more. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing in the discussion. I appreciate it all. Bye-bye for now. See you next time. Peace.